Division of polynomials. Let us take an example. Divide 3x plus 3x squared plus x cube plus 1 by 1 plus x. Let us divide these two polynomials step by step. We have to follow the steps as mentioned below. Step 1. Arrange the terms of the dividend p of x and the divisor q of x in descending order of their degrees. It means we need to arrange the terms of the dividend and the divisor in descending order as per the degrees. Children, the terms of the dividend and divisor, are they in descending order? No. So, let us arrange. First, take the terms from the dividend. What is the highest degree term from this dividend? Yes, it is x cube. What is the next term? Yes, it is 3x square. Next, 3x. Next, the constant term that is 1. Now, the terms of the dividend are in descending order, isn't it? Yes. Next, in the same way, let us arrange the terms of the divisor also in descending order. So that the highest degree term from the divisor is x. Next, next term is the constant. Now, the terms of the divisor also in descending order as per their degrees. These are the dividend and divisor. Children, now what is the quotient? Further, we need to follow the second step. That is, we get first term of quotient by dividing the first term of dividend that is x cube with the first term of divisor. It means to get the first term of the quotient, we need to divide always the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor. Let us divide x cube by x. By simplifying, we get x square. Therefore, the first quotient is x square. These are the dividend and the divisor. Now, what is the quotient? For that, we need to follow the second step. That is, we get the first term of quotient by dividing the first term of dividend, that is x cube, with the first term of divisor, that is x. It means, Always to get the first term of quotient, we need to divide the first term of dividend with the first term of divisor. So, let us divide the first term of dividend that is x cube by the first term of divisor that is x. Now, by simplifying the terms x cube and x, we get x square. Therefore, the first quotient term is x square. Next, step 3. Multiply the divisor by the first term of the quotient and subtract the result from the dividend to get the remainder. It means we have got the first quotient as x square must be multiplied with the divisor x plus 1 and the result must be subtracted from the dividend. So, let us multiply the quotient x square with the divisor x plus 1. First, let us multiply x square into x plus x square into 1. We know that x square into x is equal to x cube plus x square into 1 is equal to x square. Now, let us subtract this result from the dividend. Let us 
place it below the dividend and subtract. We know that while subtracting, we need to change the symbols. So let us change plus x cube will become minus x cube plus x square will become minus x square. Now we can cancel plus x cube and minus x cube. Next plus 3x square minus x square which is equal to 2x square. Next bring down the next term in the dividend and write it next to the remainder to form a new dividend. This is what you have got in previous step. Now let us bring down the next term of the dividend 3x to next to the remainder 2x square that is so here 2x square plus 3x is the new dividend. Now we have to repeat the same steps again that is we get the second term of quotient by dividing the first term of new dividend 2x square with the first term of divisor x. It means to get the second quotient term always we need to divide the first term of new dividend with the first term of divisor. So let us divide the first term of new dividend 2x square by the first term of divisor x. Now by simplifying 2x square and x we get 2x. Therefore the second quotient term is 2x. Children what is the next step? Yes we need to multiply the divisor by the second term of the quotient and subtract the result from the dividend to get the remainder. It means we need to multiply the second quotient 2x with the divisor and we need to subtract the result from the new dividend that is 2x square plus 3x. First let us multiply 2x into x plus 1 that is 2x into x next 2x into 1. We know that 2x into x is equal to 2x square plus 2x into 1 is equal to 2x. Now let us subtract this result from the new dividend. We know that while subtracting we have to change the symbols. So plus 2x square will be minus 2x square and plus 2x will be minus 2x. Now we can cancel plus 2x square and minus 2x square. Then it remains 3x minus 2x which is equal to x. Next bring down the next term in the dividend and write it next to the remainder to form a new dividend. That is here the next and the last term of the dividend plus 1. So let us bring down and write it next to the remainder. Then we get the new dividend as x plus 1. This is what we have got in the previous step. Now let us find the third quotient. For that we get the third term of quotient by dividing the first term of new dividend that is x with the first term of divisor that is x. So let us divide the first term of dividend x by the first term of divisor x. Now by cancelling the x with x then we get 1. Therefore the third quotient is plus 1. So we have got the third quotient as plus 1. Children what we need to do now after getting the quotient? Yes we need to multiply the divisor by the quotient and subtract the result from the dividend to get the remainder. Now let us multiply the third quotient with the divisor x plus 1. So 1 into x plus 1 into 1. We know that 
वन इंटू एक्स इज ईक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वन इंटू वन इज ईक्वल टू वन ना लेट सब्राक्ट दिस रिजल्ट फ्रम दिविडेंट वैल सब्राक्टिंग वी नीड टू चेंज द सिंबल सो प्लस एक्स विल बी माइनस एक्स एंड प्लस वन विल बिकम माइनस वन ना वी कैन कैंसिल प्लस एक्स एंड माइनस एक्स एंड आलो वी कैन कैंसिल प्लस वन एंड माइनस वन चिलड्रेन इज एनीथिंग लेफ्ट नाउ नो सो द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो चिलड्रेन दिस इज द प्रोसेस विच वी नीड टू यूज वाइल डिवाइडिंग द पॉलिनोमियल्स टू गेट द क्वेश्चन एंड रिमाइंडर सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन एंड द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो नोट चिलड्रेन वी नीड टू कंटिन्यू दिस डिविजन प्रोसेस टिल वी अपटेन ए रिमाइंडर विच इज आइदर जीरो और ए पॉलिनोमियल ऑफ डिग्री लेस दैन दट ऑफ द डिवाइजर इट मीन्स द डिविजन प्रोसेस इज सेट टू बी कंप्लीट इफ वी गेट द रिमाइंडर एज जीरो or the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor children till now i have explained two examples by using all the steps in various slides now i am going to take another example and i will explain this problem by using all the steps in the same slide so listen carefully divide 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 by 1 plus 2x plus x square. First step, let us arrange the terms of the given polynomial in descending order. Children, are these in descending order? Yes. In first polynomial, the terms are in descending order, but in second polynomial, they are not in descending order. So. Let us arrange the terms of the second polynomial are also in descending order. Then we get first as per the degree we have to take x square next to x next one. Now this is the dividend and it is the divisor. Now let us find the first quotient. We know that to get the quotient we need to divide the first term of dividend. with the first term of divisor so let us divide the first term of dividend 3x cube by the first term of divisor x square by simplifying we get 3x therefore the first quotient is 3x now let us multiply the first quotient with the each term of the divisor first let us multiply 3x into x square which is equal to 3x cube next 3x into 2x which is equal to 6x square next 3x into plus 1 which is equal to 3x now let us subtract this result from the dividend we know that while subtracting we have to change the symbols so plus 3x cube will become minus 3x cube next plus 6x square will become minus 6x square and plus 3x will become minus 3x now let us cancel plus 3x cube with minus 3x cube and simplify the remaining terms then we get plus x square Minus six x square is equal to minus five x square. Next, plus two x minus three x, which is equal to minus x. Now let us bring down the next and the last term of the dividend next to this remainder. Then we get the new dividend as minus five x square minus x plus five. now let us find 
the second quotient by dividing first term of new dividend with first term of divisor. Let us divide the first term of new dividend minus 5x square by the first term of divisor x square. By simplifying we get minus 5. Therefore the second quotient is minus 5. Now let us multiply the second quotient with each term of the divisor. So minus 5 into x square is equal to minus 5x square. Next minus 5 into 2x which is equal to minus 10x. Next minus 5 into plus 1 is equal to minus 5. Now let us subtract this result from the new dividend. We know that while subtracting we have to change the symbols. So minus 5x square will become plus 5x square minus 10x will become plus 10x and minus 5 will become plus 5. Now let us cancel minus 5x square with plus 5x square and simplify the remaining terms. Then we get minus x plus 10x is equal to 9x. Next plus 5 and plus 5 is equal to plus 10. Children is there any other terms to bring down? No. And also we can observe that the degree of remainder that is 1 is less than the degree of divisor that is 2. So we can stop this division process and the quotient will be 3x minus 5 and the remainder is 9x plus 10.